Hey guys, it's uh, it's me, Bruce. Uh, just coming to you uh, from my uh, little studio here. Uh, just doing a little test run, if you will. Um, as you can see, you could probably see behind me. Uh, normally, uh, once the show starts, once the podcast gets underway, uh, I'll probably be going with just the uh, the black for the most part. I. Um, you can see it now in the background, so you get a little sneak peek behind the scenes, etc. But I'm just checking in tonight to uh, let everybody know I've been hard at work, uh, getting things together. Putting something together of this magnitude is um, extremely difficult. Um, you know, it takes a lot of preparation, a lot of work, a lot of research, um, getting set up behind the scenes, you know. I've done this. Uh, I went to school for all this, so I know what it takes. But right now, I'm still kind of a one-man show but that's okay um i have a new platform that i'm going to be streaming from called riverside i like it because um i could bring on a guest i could do split screens uh, i can have multiple guests on and i can also have callers uh, i can have you guys call into the show uh as you're on hold and uh i can go ahead and go to uh Anybody who wants to call in, instead of going where we do Facebook Live and you're just comment, commenting below, uh, which you still have the ability to do because the service that I'm uh, signed up for will give me access to go live on multiple platforms. Um, this week, uh, you will see, um, again, those platforms that um, I will make this available to. Um, I can either pre-record things. A lot of stuff will be pre-recorded for interviews. I will also have, uh, anytime there is major breaking news, for the most part, and uh, if I am available, which I usually am, unless I'm on the road or something, but uh, I will break in at any time. Uh, we'll go live if there's a, be- of a, a big developing story. So those are the things you're going to get from the Julian Edwards Show. Um, even though most of you know that my real name is Bruce, Julian Edward was born out of censorship, and it took off and the name stuck. So I'm sticking with that. And uh, I paid homage to, uh, obviously, Julian Edward on that. And how can I not? Because right now it's uh, extremely important and personal to me because um, he's the one guy that's uh, probably the goat of all this, sitting in a prison and, unfortunately, dying a slow death. And we don't want that. But uh, anyways, I just want to say that I am working very hard behind the scenes, as you can see. Uh, get a little sneak peek of all the the stuff going on there, you know. I did choose the black background right now because I've always was a fan of um, the Charlie Rose show. Uh, like him or hate him, it doesn't matter. But I liked the setup. I was always intrigued by not having glitz and glamour and lights and all this neat, cool stuff. Um, I was always a fan of just plain black. Uh, made me. Uh, made it feel like, you know what, I've got nothing else to distract me. I'm just interested in what the topic at hand is and hearing hearing the talking points and the information, the news, etc. So that's that's what I, I definitely like. So uh, it's uh, not about me per se, but it's about what I'm able to bring to the platform uh, and deliver. I did put out a list of things that I do want to tackle. It will take, uh, um, you know, it's something that's not going to happen um, day after day, per se, but uh, you'll definitely get those topics every uh, uh, probably uh, week, two weeks, something like that. And there's many more as well. We'll also go with the current events, the times, bring anybody else on. I will be reaching out to you patriots as well. Anybody who has something that goes with a particular topic that I'm looking for and things that I uh, I will be covering, uh, I will be looking for a guest on my show as well. I hope to build a platform um, to a point where um, it, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty decent right now, and uh, I hope it continues to grow. Unfortunately, as you all know, I have been fighting censorship left and right. And I have to jump from account to account. And that's that's coming to an end because uh, my goal is to get off of uh, the uh, Facebook platform. 
uh, eventually. I'll keep it, and I'll keep an account, one account only, but uh, I plan on jumping over to Truth Social uh, using Getter as well, and also um, Rumble. Um, so I just, uh, it's up to you, Patriots. Hopefully I can deliver things that are worthy of, um, you listening to, uh, are worthy of you tuning in and are, um, it, it, it's worthy of, um, um, information, uh, you know, the news, the things you won't see on the mainstream media, uh, the things the public wants to talk about. Because I'm like Rumble and uh, some other accounts, I can get away with talking about certain things. Uh, like on the, the giant two platforms, which is Twitter and Facebook, I can't get away with that, you know. Um, so, uh, as we all saw, Dr. Malone was taken down. So, if they took him down and they took President Trump down, uh, they'll easily take me down and yeah, I kind of said censorship was going to be a tsunami uh, going into the new year, and it started on the 2nd of January, and lo and behold, I was right. It's not that I have a magic ball. It's just I've been following this for a long time. I knew exactly what was coming, so I was pretty much prepared. But thank you, everybody, for um, jumping ship uh, multiple times. I, I, I lost four accounts in 24 hours. Uh, I do have the Julian Edward accounts still up and active. They're there. You can see them, but I can't get on them for it was 30 days. So I guess, well, what are we at now? 28 days, whatever it is. Well, February 5th, they said at noon. <sighs> it's like kindergarten. It's absolutely ridiculous. So uh, with that being said, again, thank you, everybody, for your support. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who's um, uh, tuning in to get information, to try and get truth. I will do my absolute best uh, to do so, uh, to deliver uh, information, to bring on people who are uh, very credible or uh, way more intelligent than me, um, to uh bring you uh, truth, facts, information, etc. I know there are other podcasts out there, and a lot of them I do um, I do respect greatly. Um, everybody seems to have their own uh, podcasts these days, uh, but it's important to for me to deliver something different, not just uh, a talking head, which is, that's the industry term, and that's what I am right now. I'm just a talking head, and you're just listening and looking at me. I want to do a lot, lot, lot more. Uh, so, uh, bringing you not just two guests talking, but at the same time, and uh, at the same time, bringing in video clips, other uh, clips as well, things like that. I'm also looking forward to once this does grow, um, getting out into the field. I have some sources in different parts of the country that I can rely on to where they can get um, video footage and things like that from me. So I do want to take things out in the field as well. So there's uh, there's a lot a, a lot going on, a lot a lot of planning this takes, and there's a lot of imagination that um, I've been uh, using to create the upcoming show that I'm working on. So again, thank you everybody. I really do appreciate it. I. Um, appreciate your support uh once i go ahead and um uh i guess prove uh to the audience to you guys that um the show is worthy it's a word that i use that'll come in handy later we'll talk about that one day uh but the show is worthy um hopefully i can get some some sponsors as well uh, it, it it takes a lot to um keep something like this going and uh, also, you can as well look for, I'm working on a, a merch store and also links to um, contribute to help support to keep this platform going. So this is the beginning of something good. 2022 is going to be uh, incredibly good. And all I'm going to do, and all of you know my recent story, is I'm going to do exactly what uh, my uh, my best friend, my love of my life, knew that I have in me. The only thing I never knew is that I'd be in front of the camera. Uh, I'm very uncomfortable with that, but I'm getting out of my comfort zone to bring uh, the news information, rele uh, relevant topics, uh, many topics that a lot of you ask questions about. So 
Uh, that's the only thing I am doing that's out of my comfort zone is this right now in front of you. So I've always been a behind the scenes type of guy and always loved working behind the scenes or behind a, a camera directing and or producing. But now I happen to be uh, in front of the camera. So I ask everybody to bear with me to give me the benefit of the doubt. I'm not a very talented on air personality, but I will absolutely do my best. I'll work on my uh, vocabulary, the way I deliver things. And over time, you're going to see uh, the first show will be like a pilot. And over time, it's going to grow, mature, and, and get better and better as we go along. But I do have a lot in store. And I'm looking forward to uh, what 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 I have to uh, to deliver to everybody. So, again, I thank everybody for following, for friending me, uh, for uh, having that faith and trust in me, and uh, having my back. This is an incredible community, and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. Uh, I am more humbled that I, even though I have the friends and the followers, it's not about that. I'm humble that I'm a part of you. It's not that I have, oh, look at, I've got all these followers, you know. I am not that type of person. Um, yes, it would be great to reach a mass audience and grow. This is important for our movement. And we're in a great war right now. And that war is uh, censorship. And our First Amendment is definitely, definitely um, being threatened right right now as we speak. So, again, thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, look for a lot of information um, coming out in the next day, a couple of days that I will provide to you uh, via social media. And also, I will go ahead and uh, get things up and running, and we'll get our first podcast out there. Hopefully, I would say within uh, uh, probably by next this in a week, uh, by next weekend, I do have something lined up. Uh, I'm going to bring on somebody uh, that's in the United States Air Force and who was there on Jan six. Uh, on the ground, and he has uh, he's a book. He has an incredible story, and he had a run-in with the three-letter agency that begins with an F and ends with an I, and that's very interesting. Uh, I've heard the entire story, and I think my audience, so I, uh, us, I hate saying my, because uh, this is all us, but the audience uh, would really like to hear this. So, again, thank you, everybody. I uh, hope you continue to go ahead and support uh, this. You give me the benefit of the doubt and uh, give the show a chance, and I think you'll like what I have in store. Again, God bless. Appreciate you all, and where we go one, we go all. Take care.